Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video all about kind of like skincare. Um, since I've been posting my hyperpigmentation videos, a lot of you have been asking me to talk about products I use for my skin texture. Um, because obviously I said that my main two con skin concerns are my hyperpigmentation and skin texture. Now I don't really use much for my skin texture because the products are going to thin out your skin so your skin's going to be even more sensitive to sun, to the sun which leads to more pigmentation and, you know stuff like that so you need to find that right balance i would definitely recommend not to use too many acids on your skin like hyal like hyaluronic acid salicylic acid glycolic acid you know like all of those things the more you use, the more you're going to thin out your skin and the more your skin is going to be sensitive to the sun and then the more pigmentation and uneven skin tone you will get um, unless you're very consistent with your SPF. I would say that if you do use a lot of acids on your skin or any acid really, I would say to use a high SPF because your skin gets so sensitive to the sun, like it's unreal and you don't even realise. I'm not a skin specialist and I'm not a dermatologist but that's what kind of, I've kind of read on and what I've learnt. I will also mention that dermal rolling does help to refine your pores, like the size of your pores. So that really helps. So if you haven't tried dermal rolling, it's so, it's so good. Like seriously, my skin has improved so much since I've tried dermal rolling. Let me show you my my main concern areas. So I hope you guys can see, but these are this is like my main concerned area. Like this is where I have little bumps and it used to be so much worse before but this is where i have a little bit of pores just there but can you see like all these bumps i used to have so much of this i obviously have some on my nose as well and my forehead is getting there it's getting better i need to like do my eyebrows mind that but yeah like this area used to be so bumpy and all my forehead but now it's softer and I do get like some bumps here so yeah those are kind of like my areas of concern where I want to like kind of smooth out my skin so yeah definitely my number one thing is dermal rolling it's so good then next I've been using a lot well I will quickly mention it it's the dip and fab glycolic radiant shot so obviously this has glycolic shot, it's only made for night time so you use it like, it says to use two drops at night time with your, the rest of your skincare and also you have to make sure that you use SPF. So if you look, anything that has acid in it, it will tell you to use SPF the next day because your skin does become sensitive to the sun. This one's really good because it helps to um, smooth out your skin and also gets rid of pigmentation so this is a really good affordable product. The next thing is a mask and I've been using it quite a lot and it's the Exuviance Rejuvenating Treatment Mask. This was given me at BlogCon at the event and they had a stand and they were kind enough to give like products away for us to try out. They told the lady that one of my concerns was skin texture and she gave me this so it says it's an AHA PHA peel off gel mask rejuvenates enhances cell turnover so basically anything that encourages cell turnover means that it's forcing your skin to renew itself thus having like more smoother skin and um, this is basically kind of like a peel off mask so you put it on and it peels off so nicely and it smells strong at first but literally it just feels so nice and then when you take it off i swear like your skin feels so soft so this is what i like um basically any kind of skin texture product I use I've tried so many but I've used when I use it my skin needs to feel soft after like I need to feel something different and with this I definitely feel it it does say that it's for all skin types and it says apply an even layer let it dry for 15 20 minutes and gently peel off and rinse use once a week or as needed I don't use this once a week because I'll see use something else but I probably use it once or twice a month so you want to keep your skin's texture and products too minimal like I don't like to use it too much and then the final final product that I love like seriously this product you guys don't even know I'm going to show you how I do it today but it's so good um it's the ordinary peeling solution this is the AHA and BHA so there is AHA in this one but there's BHA 
in it and it says it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial so yeah you definitely have to make sure that it's a 10 minute thing i am roughly going to go by the oven clock and because i don't have my my phone but i usually put a 10 minute timer so it does come with a dropper thing like this it's literally like a blood red or like a whiny red says to apply an even layer all over your face I do have to say that the thing about this is that it makes your skin tingle, like sting. I don't even know if it's because of my skin, but it definitely does sting. This is why I don't like to use it much. Like, I use this once every two weeks or something like that. I don't like to use it often. But when I do use it, like, this has been really helping to get my skin really smooth. Like it just it stings. And also I don't know, like it smells like beetroot. Something like that. I don't know, it doesn't smell that great. I am in my PJs by the way guys. Just so you know I'm gonna go to bed after this. Okay, so I'm just gonna wear this for ten minutes. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I've had it for like eight minutes now. I'm going to wash it off. I don't know, I get a bit paranoid to keep it on my face so long. So I'm just going to... It doesn't really... Actually, it gets a bit tacky. Okay, so I do really make sure that I rinse everything off. Like I really rinse my face because I don't want anything left on my skin. And like just, oh my god, instantly like I can't feel any bumps. Like all the like little bumps that I feel, they kind of dim down and like it, your skin feels so soft and it's super affordable. So yeah, that's really what I use for skin texture. I kind of have a balance between what I use, like I, I make sure that I use them sparingly and not too much because they obviously, they can have adverse effects if you use them wrong or too much. Um, so yeah, definitely use the SPF. That's so important for that because I don't want my skin to get like more pigmentation. Um, oh my god, it feels like it's so soft. But the products that I've mentioned in this video are mainly the products I use for myself. Um, there's uh, the ordinary brand have so many like other products like salicylic acid toner. I wanted to get that, but then I was like, I don't really need it. I feel like I found that the product that helps to smooth out my skin so I, I just love this it's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me I love it so much um, just be careful if you have sensitive skin I would say and also please do research on what you use on your skin because when you start using a lot of acids it can lead to more pigmentation and you can be making your skin look even worse so read on the products you're using see what's best for you don't overuse them don't try to use too much that's really important. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what other products you have tried and you feel like has really helped. I would love to try them. Because I do like to experiment with skincare and try new bits. But yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, baby, what you say?